Hey Shook, welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we are here to do the first half of June readings for um, my earth signs and my air signs. And right now I am doing Taurus, okay? Taurus, the infatuation card just fell out, so I feel like you like to do it with somebody. <laughs> like I don't know. Okay, so for Taurus, first half of June, we're doing the horseshoe spread because I love that spread, okay? I love that spread because it gives us guidance on how we should move, okay? what spirit says and um what's working against us so we make smart choice decisions here okay for towards first half of june all right i'm going to use my modern wish deck to clarify i love that deck it's so pretty okay so Taurus, your overall energy is misunderstood okay so this says lost soul victim mistakes okay so maybe you feel misunderstood maybe some things just aren't panning out for you um things just aren't going in your favor and you're like yo i'm just being misunderstood here okay all right so in the recent past you get distance okay capricorn just got this card as an outcome but this is saying barrier separation and space okay so maybe in the recent past you did give someone some space or maybe there was a separation with someone okay maybe you know you guys weren't around each other distance okay but with the current you know situation of the world that's very possible okay your current energy though is rejection all right so um irrational fear of saying no or dismissal maybe you're rejecting someone or someone is rejecting you taurus all right in the immediate future you get conflicted all right so that says multiple choices inconsistency decisions all right you being conflicted on like what to do, how to move, all right? And we'll clarify to see what that energy is about. Your advice from spirit is hoping, waiting, expecting, manifesting, all right? So whatever it is that you are hoping for, spirit is saying like manifest here. Expect, okay? The energy of the person closest to you is drifting, okay? So this person is slowly parting, disconnecting, and detaching. All right, we'll see exactly why, okay? But they're like drifting away from you right now, okay? The energy that's working against you is roaming wild, okay? So free spirited risk possibility. So maybe you're too free, okay? Maybe you're being too free here. And we're going to clarify and see exactly what that card is about. And the most likely outcome if all this works and all this goes how you know it's planned is confusion puzzled unsettled unclear now if you don't like the outcome here then you can always change that right free will right you can always change that by changing your movements changing um what you're doing okay the things that you know you shouldn't be doing the things that are working against you change those things so that you don't end up with confusion all right and it's all about you being misunderstood here. So let's see exactly why. I'm going to clarify using my modern witch deck. Okay. For Taurus, please. First half of June. For Taurus. In the first half of June. Hope you guys are doing well. Um hope you guys had a chance to check out the peak into june reading let me know how that um resonate with you for taurus all right go. clarify this distance card in the recent past for taurus here what is this a distance card okay king of swords so this is like you um, it could be you, it could be someone else, like basically being bold, being blunt, okay, um, bold and blunt conversations, maybe a little harsh conversations, okay, um, cutting someone out, okay, um, this is someone that's just, you know, like, hey, it is what it is type energy, all right, but then you also get the star, okay, so maybe this person is like your wish fulfilled, okay, maybe this is something, someone that you've been hoping for, wishing for, okay. That's also a healing card there. So maybe maybe someone is distancing, 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 yeah, <laughs> distancing themselves because they are trying to heal a situation. Right? What is this rejection card here for? Is the current energy for Taurus? 
So you cut someone out in the past. You or someone cut you out. What is this rejection card here for? Rejection card. Okay. The four of wands. Okay. So maybe um, there was talk about a commitment. And someone rejected that. Okay. Maybe there was talk about a commitment. Someone said no. Or dismissed the idea of it. Okay. What is this conflicted card here for, for Taurus in the immediate future? Conflicted card for Taurus in the immediate future. Okay, you're conflicted because um, this is about someone from your childhood, someone from your past, okay? The Six of Cups, okay? That's memories, nostalgia, okay? That's um, reconciliation. You're conflicted also maybe with reconciling with someone from your past, okay? Reconciling with someone um, that you um, have a history with, okay? You're conflicted because you're like, you don't know how to move or what decision to make when it comes to this person, all right? And with the 10 of wands, it's been a, a huge burden, all right? So in the immediate future, you're gonna, you know, feel conflicted with like, how do I move and what do I do with this person, with this energy, okay? You're looking back on the memories. You're, you're trying to figure out, like, do I reconcile? Do I fix it? Do I, you know, get, you know, come back together with this person? Because there was some rejection here, some distance in the recent past. Let's clarify the hoping card as the advice from Spirit for Taurus, please. First half of June. Hoping. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so this is like holding on. Okay, so maybe you're hoping. Um, that things that you're able to hold on to this person, um, this is a love reading. So of like holding on to money is the four of pentacles, but maybe for the love reading, you're holding on to person, holding on to security. Um, maybe, maybe you feel a sense of security in this person. Okay. But you're hoping, waiting, expectating, manifesting. Okay. Holding on to the idea, holding on to the concept of y'all being together. Um, two of Swords is you um, being at a crossroads and you're just hoping that things kind of go in your favor. Hoping that things, you know, go into the direction that you want them to go. You're trying to hold on to that idea even though things aren't showing the way that they should. Okay, with this person drifting, that's their energy. You want to see exactly what that's all about. What is this drifting card here for? For the person that's closest to Taurus here. What is drifting here for? It's the magician. Okay. The magician, okay. So this person is manifesting, right? Maybe they're trying to manifest something that is not aligned to um, what you guys are currently in okay maybe that's why you're feeling misunderstood like no i want what you want okay give me another for the drifting card here for the person that's closest to man for two taurus <laughs> person closest to taurus what is this drifting card here for yeah. page of wands passionate communication all right maybe this person has expressed to you like hey you know i i want a, a different direction you know, then maybe what you guys have been through, like maybe they're trying to embark on a new direction, something that they're more passionate about, something they've been trying to manifest, which is maybe why they're disconnecting, detaching, slowly parting from you with the drifting card. Okay. But you're trying to hold on. You're hoping that things come together. Let's clarify this Roman wild card because that's the energy that's working against you, Taurus, here in the first half of June. <clears throat> three of um, three of wands is you waiting for your ships to come in. Okay, so you're waiting. All right, let's get another one for this Roman wild card. You're waiting. You're waiting for things to kind of go in your favor. Roman, okay. Mm, and a full energy. All right, so that's you, you know, looking to um, go after a new beginning here blindfully like i'm just gonna go and do it i just want so maybe you're like not making the best decisions all right with the roman wild card here 
Maybe you're just you maybe you're you're being too sporadic in your decision making. Right? It's because maybe you're like getting tired of waiting. You're waiting for direction, you're waiting for clarity, but you're not like listening to your intuition, waiting for spirit to talk to you, waiting for spirit to guide you, you just kind of just jumping out there. That's the energy that's working against you. You're not making smart choices here. Let's clarify this confusion card and the outcome for Taurus. First half of June. She can hug the, the death card here, Taurus. My God. <laughs> okay. Have the death card here. So ending confusion. Let's get another one for this confusion card. There's a there's an end to a cycle here. Let's get this confusion card here. Yeah. The Three of Cups. That's reuniting. Okay. Celebration. Okay. I'm going to go with reuniting because you guys are currently in distance. All right. So that's why you have the confusion here. The confusion card is clarified by the Death card and the Three of Cups. Those are like two complete opposites. It's like whether to end or reunite. Stop or come together. Like... <laughs> That's why you're having this confusion because you're kind of making decisions without thinking here. Roman wild, just doing you. And I think that's totally against what your person um, or the person closest to you is trying to manifest here. They definitely have the magician card, okay, which is Gemini Virgo. Um, but then you have the uh, page of wands here, which is like them communicating their passions. Maybe they have communicated their passions to you before, right? Exactly what they want to do. And you're not you're not trying to be aligned to that. You're just kind of taking full energy and doing doing whatever you want. Instead of waiting for spirit to guide you, the three of wands there. Let's clarify this misunderstood card for Taurus. Okay. Yeah, the two of wands. Maybe you have been planning, okay? Because the Two of Wands is like planning um, a direction, knowing exactly where you want to go, okay? But it's planning and taking action, right? So maybe your person feels like that you are on a path that's not aligned to them. And you're like, no, I am, okay? You feel misunderstood because you're like, you know, I, I have been planning. I, I'm, I'm right there with you, okay? I see the direction that you want to go and I'm, I'm with it. Let's clarify this misunderstood card. Okay, yeah, five of cups, all right, but it's, it's it's a lot of um, it's a lot of bringing up the past. It's like, how are you aligned to me when this happened back in the day, or this happened before? And remember, you did this, okay? It's a lot of crying over spilled milk. It's a lot of bringing up the past and looking at how none of that worked, or you did this and this didn't work with me, and this conflicted, okay? Instead of looking at what's working well here in this connection, looking at what could be good here in this connection, right? And that's why you feel misunderstood. It's like because you're not seeing that I'm like planning, I'm doing the things that, you know, are aligned to you and moving forward in, in our, you know, in, in the future. You just keep bringing up this past here. You keep bringing up, you know, the negativity. All right. And you're feeling misunderstood overall. Okay. But what's working against you, though, Taurus, is you're not listening to spirit. And you kind of roaming wild and just kind of making decisions and doing your own thing. I think you need to take time to kind of think before you act. Okay? All right, Taurus. That's what you're dealing with here in the first half of June. All right? Your person feels like that you're not on the same page as them. And the reason why is because you're kind of making decisions without thinking first. Pause first. Okay? That's what's, that's what's happening here. So if you want to end this confusion here in the most likely outcome... You're going to have to change this pattern right here as far as what's working against you. I hope this helped for you, Taurus. And I hope you make smarter decisions. Right. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. I miss you guys already. Bye-bye. Oh, I am sorry. I didn't give you a romance angel. That's not fair. I gave it to Capricorn, so that's not cool. <laughs> so, let me get this to you. So...
four Taurus, please. Four Taurus, Romance Angel for Taurus. Okay. Romance Angel for Taurus, please. Okay, it's a lot. Okay, so you get wedding. It says this situation involves marriage. Yeah, maybe in the future. Okay, could possibly be so. All right. You also get romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, so the way that you feel about this person is real. So if you feel like, oh, maybe I should just leave this alone, I should leave this connection alone, whatever, they're real and they're worth exploring. Okay, and then you get past life relationship okay you've known each other before i told you this is someone that you've definitely known from the past okay this is this is um definitely someone from your past all right so um the romantic feelings that you have are real and they're worth exploring okay so don't give up too quick all right take the time to um you know review yourself and see you know what changes you can make um because it definitely could probably lead to a wedding in the future okay i feel like you guys can be on the same page and you probably are on the same page. Just communication needs to be there. All right. That's what I have for you now. <laughs> okay. And I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you soon. And I miss you guys already. Bye-bye. For real this time. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, here we go.